So here Jesus is telling about how you should not care for worldly possessions. Look at all of the worldly things that are here today and thrown away tomorrow. Just like the flowers. In all of King Solomon's greatness, still the flowers were more beautiful than him. So why, so why wouldn't God care for us more than, more than he does for the flowers and the birds and the insects and the animals? If we store up in heaven, it's going to stay there and, and for the rest of eternity. But if we look down to earth, we will come to pass when, it, when, the, when, it, when the time comes for earth to pass along with it. So we should look up to heaven and try to keep stuff over there so that we can have our stuff for all of eternity and no thief can steal it, no insect can destroy it, and it will be safe there. Now I'm going to tell a story. Uh, one day Jesus was walking along the shore and he noticed, uh, and he noticed a crowd forming behind him. He jumped onto a boat and started preaching in parables. Here's one of his parables. One day, a farmer was coming to, to throw out seeds. What, one group of seeds fell on a walking path. Another group of seeds fell among um, shallow soil with lots of rocks. Another group of seeds fell on thorns. And also, another group of seeds fell on fertile soil. Then, then Jesus said, then, Jesus said, all of, the, all of the seeds that fell on the rocks were, had grown up quickly because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came, they, they burned down because they did not have deep roots. And the, and the seeds that were on the walking path, people stepped on it and birds ate it and flew away. The, the seeds that grew on the, the, the thorns, they grew up nice and but they got, got cut down by the thorns the the seeds that fell on fertile soil grew a hundred times more plants than seeds that were put that were put down jesus and then jesus said all who all who have ears list will listen and understand and the crowd went away then later the the disciples came to jesus and asked what does this parable mean he said all the all the the group of seeds that fell on the the walking path represent people who take the word of God and don't read it and throw it away, and the uh, and the other people and the peop and the seeds that fell among the thorns represent people who get the word of God, accept it, but then they see lots of but then they get mocked and teased for it, and then they stop reading the word of God. And then the people, the seeds that were thrown on the rocks represent people who get the word of God, accept it, but since they did not read it enough, they see worldly possessions and, and get more caught up into that and stop reading the word of God. And the people who, and the seeds that were spread among fertile soil are people who accept the word of God, keep on reading it, and and soon enough, they end up teaching hundreds of more people about the word of God. And we should, and the end. The meaning of this parable is trying to tell us that we should not be like seeds that are spread among rocks or on walking paths or on, a, on thorns. We should be like the seeds on fertile soil that will read the word of God and we should keep on reading the word of God so that we do not and we should not get keep we should not get caught up in worldly possessions or we should not if people tease us or tell us to stop we should keep on reading it um, not minding them we sh and we should keep on reading and spread the word of God to everyone you know spread it to your friends your church your um all the places you go. Try to spread it and then you will be like those seeds that spread and for the, and you will be fruitful for Jesus. The end. Amen. Thank you. Amen.